This is Dr. Rick Wilson coming to you with another Mandrill Drumside Chat. Congratulations to all of the graduates of 2015. Uh, we all realize that uh, education is the key to a better future and to a better planet. I took a hiatus from our usual Drumside Chat to go back to the East Coast for my Harvard uh, College 50th reunion. It was great connecting with old friends and acquaintances. Uh, back in the day, I was fortunate to be elected as uh, one of uh, four lifetime class marshals of the class of 1965. Three of those marshals returned this year, and we, we had a blast to back at the college. I uh, also was able to connect with other classmates uh, I spent time with uh, my uh, friend from class of 65, Jamie Hoyt, who was also uh, associate president of Harvard for, for over 20 years. He's now retired. We both had an opportunity to uh, connect with uh, the relatively new president, uh, President Drew Faust. I was able to meet with my roommate, Lionel Rosenblatt, as well as other classmates, and I met with Professor Terence Brathwaite from the UK, whose daughter graduated from the Harvard School of Public Health. Also had a chance to walk down the procession together in the class of 1965. One of the highlights of our trip was walking past the class of 2015 and seeing uh, just the, the beauty and uh, the hope and uh, promise uh, on the faces of these beautiful young stars. Uh, we uh, received a standing ovation from these uh, individuals and that, that was quite humbling to, uh, to both, uh, both me and, and, and Jamie. I uh, was touched by uh, visiting the memorial uh, service uh, for our fallen comrades. It reminded me of the fact that uh, life is precious and that while we are alive, we need to connect with our friends and family, uh, give each other uh, love and understanding while we can still smell the flowers. That was extremely uh, eye-opening for me. We um, saw, both Jamie and I, a significant um, change in the diversity of, of Harvard. Back in the day when we first uh, came to Harvard, which was 1961 in the class of 1965, there were only eight African-Americans in our class. Today, as we looked over the class, we saw more than 200 individuals, uh, 200 African-American students there, a, a significant improvement from, from, when, we, uh, from when we started. Uh, looking around uh, the class as well, you saw individuals of all races represented, and that, that, was, a, that was a good thing. The commencement speaker was uh, Governor Duval Patrick of Massachusetts. Uh, he's retired uh, after serving two terms, but uh, he was chosen uh, to be the commencement speaker and introduced by President Drew Faust. He is a graduate of Harvard uh, College himself and also a graduate of the Harvard Law School. His speech or talk was so inspiring. And uh, President Faust's introduction of uh, Governor uh, Duval Patrick was also memorable. Take home message uh, from my trip was that black lives indeed matter. In fact, all lives matter. It is uh, important for us to recognize the value of an education for all children. We have to end the school to prison pipeline that currently exists. 
We need to restore our music and arts in our school. We need to get rid of ignorance and racism. A part of doing that will help to uh, deal with the problems that we're having with our uh, uh, police force gone uh, mad. Uh, and politicians that are not doing the right thing. I think education, uh, as far as uh, uh, the history of, of the contributions of particularly blacks in this country, will be extremely important for folks to realize that we are resting on the work that our forefathers did. Uh, We're benefiting from all of that uh, effort over the years. Uh, and uh, we need to we need to respect that. Uh, all uh, races uh, have contributed to this society, but no race uh, has contributed any more than than the black race in terms of um, building this nation from the ground up. Um, if we don't deal with this issue it's going to threaten to destroy the fabric of our society. It's something that needs to be dealt with sooner rather than later. Um, I believe that it's up to each and every one of us to do our part to deal with uh, ending this uh, situation. We need to realize that we have the power and that in unity there is strength. Let's do this, one love.